There we go. That's my life. That's my life. <laughs> I drink. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, hey there. Why, why don't you join me and have a seat over here by, by the fire? Oh. By the fire. That's good of you. Hmm. <laughs> Bone dry. Sins I'm carrying around. You won't even believe, but. If I had a little whiskey to loosen up my tongue a little, I might, I might tell you. Here. Hmm. Only fitting that I'd be drinking the devil's brew. I'll be seeing him soon enough. You're, you're a place called Four Rigs? South of Strawberry. <sighs> Captain, Indians penned in their lock cattle. I ain't know what's worse. Seeing the ones we killed or watching the other ones die. The slow way. <sighs> well, they pay well. Them government boys? But the money don't last long. Uh-uh. It's, it's what you did. Sticks around. And I know the feeling. Uh, I was a, a y young man then, but I still see them faces clear as yesterday. I do. Well, that's hard, partner. I might risk the last minute feeling very sleepy all of a sudden. You okay there, mister? You need me to move? Move? 
I am I sitting in the wrong place? Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. Well, that ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. Yes. But no great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm hmm. Easy. Doctor friend of mine lost his wagon. You all ain't seen it, have you? Up with it, ain't he? You tell your friend we gonna pay him a visit. I know what you about, dark you lover. Go.
I'll go. Better, don't you? Oh, my. Oh, look who it is. I did not count on seeing that wagon again. Nor you, for that matter. The only people you won't be seeing are the folks that took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Ah, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, yeah. let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. Well, I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. <laughs> 